Hey from Michael Shung here. In this video, we're going to show you three methods how to draw a line inside of DaVinci Resolve. You might think it should be very simple. However, there is no pen tool or a line tool. So we have to use a different method to actually achieve a line inside of the normal edit and also inside of Fusion. So first, let's do it inside of the standard edit so we can add a simple line in your normal edit when you add like a title and want to have like a little bit of motion graphics going on. So the first one is quite simple. We go into effects library at generators and we're going to select solid color. Drag this onto the timeline. So change this color. Let's make this red and okay. So now we have like an entire red video and we have here some options. So we can actually crop this from top and bottom to make it a thin line and also crop it left and right. So this is one of the simple methods and also we can change the angle of this line. So this is the first and the easiest way. And now the second method, we do it in Fusion. However, we need to do a few things inside of the edit first. So again, we need to add a solid color onto the timeline. Now we need to make sure we make a new compound clip out of it. The reason is that uh, if you want to add an effect inside of Fusion or build something inside of Fusion, you can't really build it onto nothing or build it onto like a so just a solid color. You need to build it onto a clip or a compound clip. So we just made a black compound clip, makes it quite easy to build an effect on top of it. So now we have inside of the nodes a media in and a media out. We are going to unlink them and we are going to generators and we are going to add a background here. We're going to link the background to media out and we are going to change the background to a different color, make it red. And now we don't have like any options here to crop it or do anything else. We need to actually make a mask to get the shape that we want. So we can actually go to mask here. We have a rectangle tool if we want just to make a single line. However, it's just easier to do the method that I showed you inside of the edit. However, if you want to draw a line with multiple angles, we can either choose B spline or polygon. However, B spline would be a more curvature line and polygon we have like more straight lines and also can uh, curve with a bezier. So we're going to choose polygon, drag it into our nodes, select this and drag it to the background. So you might see everything is now transparent. So we can now actually draw here. So we can have like the pen tool is selected and we can click on the screen. So we have now a red line you can see here. However, the thing is it's very thin and we don't really see anything. And we can use the border width to give it a thickness. However, one thing you might notice, the line is rounded. So there isn't really any options here that you can see to change that. So that's the only downside with it. Uh, yeah, inside of Fusion that you don't have like uh, more straight edges on them or hard corners. That is not an option. So there is no options for that to make that more normal. However, when we look at here on the top, we have a lot of tools here to make it easier to draw. However, too bad is you can't change the edges or the ends of the lines. Now to the third method. So the third method, we're going to delete this polygon and we are going to use mask paint. So mask paint is not really for a nice line. If you want to have something that's more rough and especially that uh, with a lot of sketching, we can use mask paint for that. So now again, everything is transparent and now we can actually use our mouse and just draw here. So we can draw a line or we can draw it more, not that smoothly. So we can like literally just draw anything that we want. So. This makes it quite interesting. We can also like write something. So 
yeah basically uh yeah this is a method to do more like a grungy look or like uh, just to draw a shape uh, by hand if you want to so that was three methods how to draw a line inside of davinci resolve 15 hope you guys found this a quite useful video if you want to see more upcoming videos please hit that subscribe button here below also make sure to hit that bell icon so you're always updated when i post a new video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you the next time bye bye